If you put equal proportions of intellect and creativity in one body, the end product will be Sutra. She's a beautiful, inspiring young woman who pursues her passion with a precision that should be emulated. Hey guys, my name is Sutra and I'm a musician and medical doctor in the UK. Something quirky about myself is that I can probably read your mind. That was a joke, by the way. Just, just. One, if I had to say one victorious thing that's happened to me in my career so far, it would be having the opportunity to see people get better um, when they come into hospital and they're really sick and we do things and manage them and they end up being able to go home. That doesn't always happen, so, so yeah. For me, I'd say that's, that's something that I'm really proud to be a part of. If I had the opportunity to live differently, knowing I'd end up in the exact same spot, what would I do? Um, yeah, I'd probably do the same actions I've done. It doesn't mean that I don't have things that you know probably could have been improved on, but those are the things that have made me who I am and how I am. I'd say that probably what I would have done differently is believe in myself a lot more and let go of fear a lot sooner, um, celebrating my achievements and the people I have in my life a lot, a lot better than I have done. So yeah, I think I'd change those things. So it's difficult to, to kind of split the two. I'd say um, I can give examples, an example each um, in my life and in my career. To start off with my career, um, being a doctor, you get attached to people, um, you get attached to specific patients and um, sometimes those patients don't, don't survive, sometimes they, they, they just pass on and it's expected a lot of the time, other times it isn't and I think those times are the low moments for me and I actually hadn't bargained for how much those things would affect me um, and that I'm still getting over some of the deaths I've had so far. Um, a low point in my life would be. Um, there's a point in my life where I was very, um, very depressed actually, and that was a low point. I felt very lost. Yeah. So who's my my biggest influence? Um, really difficult to say. What is my biggest influence would probably be easier. I'm really inspired by by water and um, I find so much semblance between water and humanity and how fluid we can be, how dual we can be as humans, um, how we have the potential to, uh, to live and to give life, to destroy um, and to flow, to rise, to fall, to wave. I think water is such an inspiring element and I'd say that inspires me a lot and it's actually how um, I have come to kind of find meaning and find out who God is as well. So yeah, it's probably water for me. So I haven't got one woman that I'm inspired by. Um, I'm inspired by a lot of women. I think women, no I know women have a strength and a community. Um, that, that builds builds nations, almost literally. And I'm inspired by a lot of women, friends, sister, um, aunties, my mum. Um, yeah, I'm inspired by womanhood in general, but strong female figures that I was drawn to from a young age were women like Maya Angelou, women like um, Nina Simone, women like Benazir Bhutto, women like um, Coretta Scott King, um, yeah. I think a lot of the time we misunderstand each other because we um, mix up privilege and perspective and it's important to acknowledge that there are different ways of looking at things, it doesn't necessarily make them right or wrong. Um, but that those different perspectives have to make room for one another so we can come to a mutual understanding. Um, having grown up both in the UK and in Ghana, um, it has been difficult at times to, to 
feel like I fit in fully into either of those spaces and I still I've come to embrace it more but I'm still aware of that um, challenge and identity is something that I definitely have had my challenges with um, I can see why people back in Ghana uh, might think that those who live here um, view life there in a completely privileged manner um, but I think it's an assumption that doesn't leave much room for conversation and I think that there's a lot to be learned across and I think that it's okay to think that that's the way people outside of Ghana might think but to challenge them on it and not just make those assumptions and close doors and vice versa as well um, people here have got their own assumptions about how people live back home and yeah you don't always know what it's like for the other person let's learn from one another basically what does home mean to me um hmm. when i think of home i i see visual representations of home i feel like i haven't found my home fully yet I don't feel like my home is fully even here but home for me is a place where there is where there is joy, where there is laughter, where where there is relationship um, and where there is love. For me, that's, that's where home is and that's a home that survives because life is difficult. Life is really difficult.